Hey everybody, today is day three of the prayer and fasting guide that we're doing here at T-Church. It's great to be with you all. If you haven't had a chance, be sure to check out days one and two. Lots of really good stuff going on. Um, hope you have your prayer and fasting guide so you can follow along and, and check it out. So we're going to start with reading some scripture. It starts off with Psalms 111, verse 1. The psalmist writes, Praise the Lord. I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the counsel of the upright and in the assembly. And then Psalms 27, verse 8. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. And then the, the, the reading for today is this. It's, in you, O God, I find my identity. When I come to seek you, I find that you are already here, seeking me. What gives my worship meaning is so much more than anything that I can do or say. It is you. You are the reason I come to exist. You are the giver of my next breath, and you are the reason for my continued being. You are the reason I worship. I worship you with my whole heart. I come to worship you because of who you are. You are the one and only true God. I bring you praise because of your holiness. You are so gracious to me, and you have already done more than enough for me to bring you thanksgiving. I worship you. May my life bring you glory. My Lord and my God, I want to worship you with my whole heart. I'm not ashamed to declare my love and adoration for you, before others, all I am yours and I belong to you. I am your possession. May you be pleased with my worship. I long to recapture a spirit of genuine worship, a personal revival of my whole being, heart, soul, and spirit. Heaven and earth declare your glory, O God, and therefore so do I. All of creation submits to you and so my life is surrendered to you. I'm willing to do your will. How can I be in your presence and not be changed? I long to be the kind of worshiper that you have been looking for, fully devoted to you. I worship you with my whole heart. You know, it, it makes me think when I think about this idea of worship and worshiping God, I ask myself this question, am I coming to God and worship with an empty battery? Or am I worshiping God out of an overflow of my heart? Am I coming to God not having done any personal study, not having spent time in prayer, not having reflected on all the great and incredible things that God has done in my own life for me? And then coming to worship not expectant of what God can do, or have I spent time in prayer throughout the week? Have I seen God working around me? Have I spent time reflecting and meditating on his word and coming to worship with a full heart and worshiping God because of the great things he has done, because of the mighty wonders that he has done in my life and on a daily basis? Because I think that if we are doing that, if we are worshiping out of, out of a full heart, we're going to start to notice the things that God does for us. We're going to start to notice the things that God is doing in the lives of the people around us. So as you pray and as you fast, think about that. Think about what worship looks like, what fully full devotion to God looks like in your life. Let's pray. Humbly and yet confidently, I come into your presence. I am relying on the promise of Christ, providing me a relationship with you as my Heavenly Father. Bring me fully into your presence, O God. Lead me more fully into your will so that every day of my life will be worshiped, offering a living sacrifice to bring you glory. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. It's great to be with you this T-Church. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.